for the state playoffs, NBA versus Gallatin, you're looking at the NBA student form tunnel waiting to greet the NBA players as they leave the locker room. I'm not sure, Hunt, but it uh, seems like our tunnel, as compared to the Gallatin tunnel, we're almost as big as them and probably will be before the time the team comes out. And, uh, yeah, it would be a pretty embarrassing thing for us to have a bigger tunnel than them at their home field, what do you think? Well, you know, Taylor, the school's really gotten behind this team. They're 11-0. They're, they're going to be 12-0 after this game. And, you know, the students have really supported it's them all bigger. year. It's now bigger than their tunnel. Our tunnel is now bigger than their tunnel. And anyway, look at Pat Hale out there. Look at him directing things. Hey, Pat, are you hitting on an eighth grader out there? What's that? I got him. Pat. There you are. You got, you got him on Pat? That's Pat. Look at him. He's making his move on the... Is that the seventh grade crowd he's hitting? He's shimmying through. All right. <laughs> And NBA is about to come out of the dressing room moments before kickoff. They're coming. Here they come. You know, Taylor, since we talked last about the NBA tunnel, it has grown to be about twice the size of the Gallatin tunnel. And, you know, that's kind of sad. They're supposed to have all the tradition and the school spirit. And yet, they can't even fill up a tunnel on their home field. You know, Haunt, uh, I was really expecting uh, multitudes of people out here for the Gallatin Green Wave tonight, and I don't see it. All I see is, uh, we'll give it three-quarters filled stands over there on the other side, and uh, almost full over here, although some of them are Gallatin people, but what do you think, Haunt? I totally agree. They can't hear you. This evening, our flag will be raised by the Gallatin High School Student Union. At this time, I'm going to ask you to please stand for our invocation. You got a cigar for it? Invitation. 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 Led by Chris Vallejo. They got to be fired up tonight. They're playing their toughest match of the year in Gallatin. Coming into the game 10 and 1. We're playing them on their home field, and there's the Green Rave. Kind of a meager tunnel hunt. Pretty meager. But on the Green Wave part. Mm, Gallatin. No. NBA set to kick off. Patrick Harper Road is doing the honors. Look for a kick down this side. And it is. It's a deep one. Back into the end zone. No one's going to return that one. NBA defense will take over. Gallatin's ball on the 20-yard line. It's intense for Gallatin. Hand off to the tailback of the middle. He breaks one tackle. Tries to get outside. Tackled by David Mason after a gain of about three. They That's a second down and seven. Pitch to Brinkley. He looks for a hold. Doesn't, he doesn't get much. It's going to be a third down and a six. Tackled by Michael Brooks. Hunter, the big key here is our linebackers. They're going to be testing our linebackers all night. And we just saw Michael Brooks do a good job there. Did a good job on the first play, just didn't wrap up. I think they're going to have a hard time going against our linebackers tonight. That brings up third down and a long five. Galvin drops back to pass. And he throws it out of bounds, but there's flags down. And it's against them. It's against Gallatin. That's going to knock them back even further and force them to punt. We'll probably decline the filming. 
Fourth down and 20 for Gallatin. Yeah, we got one. We got one. He's going to be punting from his own end zone. It's a low snap. Almost blocked. It's kicked to the sideline, and it goes out of bounds at about the 50-yard line. NBA takes over. First down and 10. They're in the wishbone. Tate McDaniel out wide along with David Mason. And there's a mix-up. But D. Thompson scrambles for about three yards. Hunt, he had a lot of room there. Um, he slipped. Uh, when D. said Hunt, he slipped, or he'd have had a lot of yardage on that play. D. ended up getting about four on that play. It's second down and six. Pitch to Robert Eccles. And he gets close to first down. He's going to be about a yard short. And it looks like they're piling on right there. The gals and D's pretty fired up. I think they're piling on. That should have been 15. That'll bring up a third down and one for the Big Red. Look for it to go to Chris Vallejos. Instead, it goes to Eccles. He pops her down for a first down. And NBA's got the ball. Uh, shoot, I don't know what it is. They don't have numbers on the field or on the scoreboard. It's a 38-yard line. You're going to have to bear with it tonight. They don't have any numbers anywhere. D. Thompson, sacked from behind. D. had to eat that one. The same guy that catches a touchdown bomb on him in just Second down and 17. That was a loss of seven on that play. D. checking off. And he hands the ball off up the middle to Chris, but the play was stopped. Flags are down. Could be a delay of game. That'll make it a second down and 22. Hand off up the middle to Chris Vallejos. He gained about five on that play. Make it third down and 17 for the Big Red. D. Thompson, straight drop back. And he evades two tacklers, but brought down by, behind the 50-yard line. We got some rowdy Gallatin fans back here. I'm just telling them that their side's on the other side of the field. They need to get over there. They're coming at us from all sides, these rowdy Gallatin fans. They're, they're high-fiving in front of our camera. Get them out of here. Take the camera a little bit. It's a low snap. And he's got to run the ball. And he gets outside, takes on a tackler. And Gals is going to take over at about a 45-yard line. Gallatin takes over in NBA territory. Straight drop back. And he dropped the ball. And that's a good catch. That's a great catch by number five, but he didn't look that one into his arms, huh? I think he heard footsteps, Taylor. I think he heard footsteps. Big Joe Underwood was about to level him. Second down and ten. Up the middle, gain him about two. Down and eight for Gallatin. Man in motion. Looks like they'll probably run away or throw away and they do to number five and he misses it again that's going to be third down fourth down that's going to bring up fourth down and long they're going to have to punt back deep to return the kick is mark fuqua a low snap a good kick mark fuqua signals for the fair catch he's going to let it bounce and Gallatin falls on it deep in NBA territory. NBA takes over deep in their own territory. Hand off to Robert Eccles. And he gets stuck after a game of about two. Actually, that was Glenn Harris. Second down and eight for NBA. Flags again. The penalty was against Gallatin making it a second down and three. Hand off to Robert Eccles up the middle. He got the first down. That's the second one of the game. Hunt, uh, let me just, you know, the first down stats for you. We've got two, they've got none. There you go for him. 
Yeah. All right, we got a bunch of big talkers up here from Gallatin. We'll keep you posted on some of the things they've been saying. <laughs> All right, now. We may have to censor some of that stuff, huh? I don't know. Especially as the game wears on. We got someone up here with a lightly colored Coca-Cola. <laughs> Very lightly colored Coke. <laughs> Glenn Harris up the middle, and he gains about five. Glenn got actually seven on that play. Second down and three for NBA. D. Thompson gets the tackle. He's still going. And he gets the NBA first down. Uh, it was a face mask against Gallatin. That'll move M NBA ahead. We got a Gallatin spotter up here to, to let us know all the Gallatin players. So that's, how, that's where we're getting these names from. Kenny Gilbert, that is. Hold on, look at this. Look how far we're going forward. We're out there on the 45-yard line. We're driving. All the first downs we're getting. What? Have you got six yet? I've, Have you got the first down yet? Uh, first down and ten. Pitch to Eccles. He finds some running room. Chopped down after a gain of three and a half to four. Second down and seven. Up the middle, Chris Vallejos. He spins off a tackler and is close to another NBA first down. Yeah, that was a great spin move by Chris. He busted through that line, did a little turn, got about three or four extra yards because of it, Hunt. Well, it looks like NBA is going to be a little short of this one. It'll bring up third down and short. You know, Hunter, I saw in warm-up, Galden was trying to simulate our defense, and they were breaking through the line pretty easy, but uh, that's just not the same. Our defense has stopped them, and they can't stop us with their defense. Thompson pushes ahead, and it's going to be close to first down. They're going to have to measure it. After the spot, NBA was short about an inch, literally, and we're going for it on fourth down and an inch. We're having controversy up here in the block. And NBA got the first down. Okay, the big runs lined up. The two split, wishbone formation. D with the keeper. A pitch, the ball's on the ground. I think Eccles recovered it. It'll probably be a loss of about one. Uh, D tried to pitch it quick. Couldn't quite uh, get rid of it. Robert couldn't get the handle on it. Um, Bad pitch by D. Second down and 11 for the Big Red. Hand off to uh, Glenn Harris. He's stuck in the backfield. Must have been a missed assignment over on the right side. Pretty good hit there by the Gallatin defender. Uh, Met Harris right there in the backfield and brings up a third and, third and what, Waddy? Third and 13. I'm looking for a zero route to Tate McDaniel here. Or Pat, one or the other. Look for a zero route or a banana, one or the other. Pat split left. Chris goes in motion. D, under pressure, almost gets away, but couldn't quite. Sacked it. I can't tell what yard line this is. I guess it's a 50. You know, Alex, they're getting to D tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if it's our line or what, but uh, every time it seems like every time he's dropped back to pass, they've been all over him, huh? Yeah. Pat Harker Road with the kick. Number 11. Tries to get outside. Oh, uh, not much there. I think Gallon sees the big hitting. That was one of the main points of the night. We had to come out and show Gallatin that we could hit with him, we could play with the big boys. First and 10 for Gallatin. Twice. Knocked back the loss of three. What a great job. Who was it? Who was it? Uh, we don't know who it was. A great stop. Uh, we were all in that backfield. Al? 
You know, as I was saying earlier, they tried to simulate our defense, Hunter, in, in warm-ups. I mean, they were really breaking through the line, but that's just not the way the Big Red D fits. You can, you can never simulate the Big Red D, and we're just showing that the way our defense is playing, Hunter. Well, that's the end of the first quarter. They're going to switch in. The score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. That means nobody wins, right? Here we have a quote from a Gallatin, dedicated Gallatin football fan. He's been watching football Gallatin for a long time. This is his best national team he's seen, huh? Well, I'll agree with him there. NBA's record can speak for itself. It's second down and 12. Gallatin's back for pass. he got plenty of time. And it's caught by Brian Nussbaum in number 84 for Gallatin. And in three for Gelatin. And, <laughs> and he tries to break outside. He didn't get the first down. That was Turner. That's going to bring up fourth down, and here comes the punt squad. Wait, check me if I'm wrong, Taylor. How many first downs have Galton gotten? Uh, Bagel, and uh, I believe that's about the what, third time I've seen their punter, or just second? I'm not sure. It's third. They've drawn the Bagel every time. Mallard to kick it. Oh. Uquay deep for the Big Red. Uquay is deep for the Big Red. <laughs> they got the sophomore back for NBA. And it's a punt. Mark Fuqua has to let it bounce. He feels it. No gain on the play. But I just got to say, meanwhile, while Gowson's whooping it up over here, I got to say, that's a gutsy play. Okay, Pat Hawker rode out wide. Look for NBA to keep it on the ground. We hadn't had much success in the air. Pitch to Eccles. He gets about five yards. Second down and five for NBA. A slant to Glenn Harris. He gets ahead. And it'll bring up a third down and two. Todd, I'm waiting for D. Thompson to throw the ball. I think that might be a pretty good idea. They, a fan of here says that Galveston secondary is not too strong. We should be able to pass on them and see if they don't come up with a pass pretty soon. Third down and a long two. Hand off up the middle to Chris. I don't think he got it. And in comes Patrick Harker Road for the third time tonight. Good snap and a good kick. Drops number five back a long way. And he's still on his feet. And he's dropped down at about the 20 yard line. First down and 10 for Gallatin. Hand off, and he didn't get much, maybe a yard. NBA's done a good job so far stopping the run. We just got to be careful of the big play, Taylor. It's proven to be a great ball game thus far, Hunt. Eight and a half minutes left in the half. No score. Very little threat of score. I'm impressed. Well, Taylor, that shows how well each team's prepared for the other. Defenses are very strong. Second down. And nine. Gallatin dropped back to pass. Over the middle, he stuck. He caught it, but he stuck. First first down of the night on that play. And they pass it again. Intercepted by Robert Eccles. He's got a lot of running room left. He's still going. And he's driving under the 15-yard line. Big play by Bob Eccles. He read that perfectly. Intercepted that pass. Read it down to about the 15-yard line. We've got some quiet fans up here with us. Punt. I need to Chris Johnston or some other pass play like that. Would probably go, to, go for the end zone after a turnover inside the 50. What do you think? Yep, they're running into Chris. Yep, they look for Chris Johnston. Option to Glenn. A lot of running room. 
Gets to about the seven yard line, it looks like. That was a good play. They ran a decoy to Chris Johnston. Motion out wide. Uh, defense from Gallatin shifted and we ran it to the short side of the field. Looks like we're going to keep it on the ground, huh? We haven't thrown it that many times tonight. And when we have, we hadn't been successful. Handoff to Robert Eccles. He didn't get much. That'll bring up a third down and short. Down play for the Big Red. Third down and three. Hand off to Glenn Harris. He got the first down and he's close to the touchdown. First down. First down and one on the one. He stopped in the backfield. <laughs> Hand off to Robert Eccles up the middle. And he gets back what we lost on that first play. It's going to be third down and goal. Big play. Third down. Touchdown, Big Red. Touchdown, Big Red. Six to nothing. We did score a touchdown. All those first downs added up to something. There's a shutout in the making here at Greenway Field. Uh, it's six to nothing. Pat coming on for the extra point. Probably a given seven. Uh, Big Red with the early lead. 440 left in the half. Hunt. It's six to nothing, and you can count on seven. Hawker Road hadn't missed one all year, baby. 27 to 27. You score for 28, right? Good snap. Good kick. 7-0, Big Red. 4.42 remaining in the second quarter. Set to kick off. You know, they wouldn't let us in the press box tonight. There just wasn't enough room up there. So we are over here on the visitor stands. And uh, the angle is not the best as Harker Road squibs it. That guy just falls on it wisely. Oh! They hit him again. Late, late hit on Gallatin. That's going to knock them back. That hurts. You know, Taylor, back to what you're talking about, sitting back here with the, some of the Gallatin fans, and they just assured me that they drink good whiskey here in Gallatin. Uh, let me let me get an interview here. Players usually drink George Dickel. He just said the players usually drink George Dickel. At least a half a gallon per person before the game. All right. He's saying, what he, I don't know if that's good or bad, huh? I'll just have to ask you on that one. Well, I wouldn't know. Uh, Jack Daniels, we just drink George Dickles a step below you guys, you know. They whistle, they whistle for a Dickel before the game, huh? <laughs> Penalty gave a first down, made it a first down and 25 for Gallatin, and they probably gained about three and a half to four on that play. Second down and 20. Well, Hunt, we had to do last week. So rather than trying to think up of stuff myself, I was going around school trying to get some words of wisdom by some of the players. So I went to Chris Vallejo's. His one quote was, if we score first, the game will be over by halftime. We have scored first, so let's see what happens. Well, I hope so. There's confusion in the Gallatin backfield. Fumble! NBA recovers it with 3.45 to go in the second quarter. Uh, chin up, green wave. I think there may be a flag, though, Haunt. <laughs> No change of position. Well, uh, something something messed up down there. The officials were from Gallatin or something, and they gave the ball back to the Green Wave. Gallatin draw play, and he's brought down by number 45, Robert Eccles. And 22 for the Green Wave. Back to receive the kick again is Mark Fuqua. Not a very impressive drive by the Green Wave Hunt. No, it wasn't. High kick, though. Good kick. Caught by Fuqua. He tries to find the hole. He gets outside. Gain of about 10 on the return. Good job, Mark. First down and 10 for NBA. D on the keeper. Gain of about 6. Pat. What do you got to say for it? Well, you know, Hunter, earlier this week, I went to Freeman's. You know, I needed some khakis, some school clothes. I went in there. I said, hey, 
I, I, I need a pair of overalls, but they're all sold out. I know where they are now. The, the tally here is up to 83 and counting. Full Gallatin fans. We'll have to keep that down. Hand off to Glenn Harris. He tries to cut back and splits down. That's going to bring up third down and five. Lost the footing there, Han. I think we'll probably get this first. Taylor, ever the optimist. See if he calls this one right. Chris Vallejos in motion. D drops back. Straight. Screen pass to Eccles. Up ahead for the first down. The clock will stop. There's 56 seconds to go. NBA's going to try to at least get in Patrick Hawker Road's field goal range. They need about 20 more yards to do it. Hey, hey. D Thompson, bootleg. He has no place to go. Tripped up. The clock's still running. And we may take it into the half with a 7 to nothing lead. We make our living up here. Five seconds to go in the first half. Pitch to Glenn Harris. A big hole. Breaks outside. And the first half has come to an end with NBA leading 7 to nothing. We're bringing the halftime show tonight to Kenny Gilbert, the uh, Gallatin fan. The cheerleaders didn't show me much, so we didn't decide to go down there. Kenny, are you an alum, Gallatin? Yes. Uh, 1977. Well, how'd y'all do in 77? 77 when we came, um, I don't even, I, I, I can't go back that far. 78, I know we won the state. But you weren't here then, so that doesn't show me much, Kenny. What about all this Gallatin tradition, Gallatin pride you've been ta telling me about? The road to the clinic bowl comes through Gallatin. Check your record book. I'm checking, but uh, Kenny, score seems to be 7 nothing right now. Looks like the uh, road through Gallatin's about to end. Does that mean anything, 7 to nothing at halftime? Does it mean anything to you? It means something to me. It means we're up seven points. Make sure you have me on your camera at, at, at the end of this fourth quarter, all right? Tuition money. Tuition money. Tuition money. What is that? All right. Excuse me. Kenny. Michael Hold on, Kenny. Kenny, you want to play some bets on the, on the game? Where is that hundred you flashed me? Yeah, y'all get kicked out of school. You have to put a link for this. Make the score even right now, guys. Got a hundred bucks. Oh, look at the cop. Look at the popcorn and the BMWs and, and Mercedes. Yo, the yo, 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 yo. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday, 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 NBA fan to me. Oh no, I'm Green Wave all the way live. Last Nashville team down here drowned. Hey, drowned. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. Why do you want to support a loser like the Green Wave? Hey, 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 well, last year champ, champ, we champ from last. That, that was last. Year. You know what uh, uh, L.A. Lakers did? They went it back to back. You know what uh, uh, the wait, hold on. NBA teams did? They went back to back. That, that was two years ago. Now the Lakers are like one and five or something. It look, I mean, the Greenway's down seven nothing. See, they were, Explain that. See, the Lakers were the team of the 70s. All right, 49 of the teams of the 80s. And Greenway's the team of the 90s. That's a good explanation right there. We're going to do it up. See, that's right. All right, he got me on that one. But, uh, that's right. Hell the Howard. You know that's right. Can you let Howard go down? Right on. Hold on. Get out of here. Hold on. I love you, man. Last national team down here, they drowned. The waves, they got covered over by the waves. They drowned. Uh, that's right. That's right on. So we, we all the way live. Really well, the green wave, I mean, it's barely oh, forming an eddy oh, night. We're, we're it's not showing much. Team of chance. Remember, uh, I think the year of 84, we played Maplewood out of Nashville. Oh, they didn't have a chance. They Maplewood, Maplewood. They had a chance, but after the second half, they, they, they drowned. Second half, when in third quarter, they drowned. That's, that's straight up facts. 
Well, I'm in trouble. Oh, well, we, we all know how to swim. We ain't going nowhere. I know how to swim. We got life. We got the country club. Oh, I learned how to swim. Country club. <laughs> Bellevue Country Club. All right. Oh. Y'all a good team. Y'all playing good ball. I got to admit that. Y'all done got about, oh, about 100 yards. Um, you been to Bellevue or are you a member? No. <laughs> Gallatin Country Club? Gallatin Country Club. Hey, look here. Look here. Hey. You know the oh, power. Oh, you know the power. Oh, close up on this. Don't you? Hold on. Green. Bet. We play some green. bets. You know the power of how green. Many, how many zeros is all that? The green will win. <laughs> You, you know that's right. Now, green, that's a universal language. Green. That is, that is Day's paycheck right there. No, no. What's that? That's a clap. That's a clap. That's a clap. <laughs> I tell you, we were about cover off. Was that? Oh, he says that's what, at Hunter, that's, that's from the tobacco crop, crop this month. <laughs> You know, uh, in, in study halls today, some of our players, like our kickers, have been trying to get us fired up. They've been given the stereotype, you know, like y'all come out here in your overalls, spitting tobacco, whittling with your wood. What, what about all this? What we spit on. Stereotype? No, it ain't nothing like that. Tell the truth, we spit on. If we're doing the spitting at all, that we're going we're gonna to spit a little cognac. <laughs> It ain't gonna be no the box, but it's gonna be corny at <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can't spit on the box. We have a good time. Uh, oh, we love a good time. I didn't okay, mean yeah. that was nothing, nothing <laughs> different, but that's just <laughs> freaking personal. You can't chew the box. <laughs> I mean... It's not class act. I love the box. I work. I think they're, they're taking their... They're drinking, they're partying a little more serious than their football playing here tonight, Alex. But uh, I think that's it for the halftime show. We're going to get back to the second half. Now it's the big red roll over Gallatin. Stand up here. Get this man up here. Get up here. I like to tell much in a way. What? Say that. What am I? What's up, my man? All right. So, uh, home slice. What? What we got going here? It's uh, your team's losing. Well, it's a good defensive battle right now. Got to make a, a one one cause of turnover, but the Greenway will put the title away on them on NBA tonight for us over with. I'm telling you, home slice is just like this. The Green is all about this. It's, how many how many hundreds you got there? About ten. It's a thousand bucks he's putting on his green wave. That could be down payment for Mercedes or something. It's gonna be lost that night when the big red captures that victory. How do you figure that? Is it, it, it's seven nothing. We'll beat you by more than that in the second half. That's how I figure that. No, nah, home slice, I don't believe so. The final <laughs> score will be 17, 14, yeah. Well, hold on, hold on there. All right, you've been watching this game. You think, uh, any key plays, or what, what about you been watching any key players for the Big Red? Any particular ones? The key play was the turnover, the interception. Right, are you looking for a key play in the second half, some sort of big play to get Gallatin going? The big play will be the Harris. Number 11. Number 11? Because obviously you're going to need a big play because you can't grind it out with the Big Red in the trenches. They're just too tough for you. No, nah, I don't think so. Both teams are playing well, well coached defense. And uh, turnover's going to be the key to the whole game, like the first half. It's going to be key to the whole game. Whoever has a turnover in the second half will win the game. Bottom line. All right, that's the bottom line from the halftime show with Alex and Pat and various assortments of others. <laughs> with Big Reds coming out for the second half, and uh, we're going to cut now and come back to you in the second half. And uh, that's it. We're on hunt. Gallatin has to kick off the NBA to open the second half. Back deep is Glenn Harris, Robert Eccles, and Chris Johnston. They kick it to Robert Eccles. And he gets it up past the 20. Fumble. And the ball's still rolling out of bounds. And NBA 
gets the ball at about the 45. Yeah, Robert had a good run back going there. Hanna lost the handle on the ball, but ball out of bounds. We still got it. First down for NBA handoff to Eccles at the middle. Big gain of about eight. Second down and short. The Eccles, it looks like he got the first down. Maybe not. The word uh, around town is that we might break out a, I whispered, a hurry up offense, as in no huddle. Sometime in the second half, kind of throw that at Gallatin and see what they think of that, huh? After the measurement, it's third down and one for NBA. Big third down. Keep this drive alive. Up ahead is D. Thompson. I think he got it. First down and 10 for NBA. And flags again. It looks like we took too long. <laughs> First down and 15. Cross up the middle to Eccles. Not a bad run. Pretty good defense by the Green Wave. You know, Hunt, they only got about 15 to 20 on that one. Uh, there's 10 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. The fans are getting, they're getting a little nervous. The one next to me is sweating bullets. Uh, put, it, put it like it is, man. Put it like it is. Except not big rest. Eccles gained 11 yards on that play. It's second down and four. Hand off to Glenn Harris, up the middle. It looks like he's got the first down. First and 10 for NBA. Hand off to Chris Vallejos, up the middle. He gains about four. NBA is putting together an impressive drive to open up the second half. Uh huh. It seems at halftime, Philip A. Van, uh, we had a little run in with the police down there on the sidelines. I'm not sure what the charges were in that case, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't get a further report for you guys on that one. I think they got him for jaywalking, Taylor. Jaywalking might have been it, I think. Up the middle to Eccles. That play just wasn't there. They converged on him quickly, and he's lucky if he got back to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up a third down and about four. Third down and five. Up the middle to Vallejos. He didn't get the first down. That's going to bring up fourth down, but I don't think we're in field goal range. Kicking against the wind, kind of hard. I, I think I'll probably punt this one. I don't know. I think it's four down territory. We got to go for it right here. It's kind of a long fourth down, but uh, I, I'm behind you on that one, huh? Fourth down and four. Fourth down and four. NBA's going for it. Option D. Johnson keeps it. Doesn't get the first down. Really not that big a play, Hawk. They still don't have that good a field position. Uh, we went for, a, went for a little risky play there and came up a little short, but I don't think it's going to have much effect on the ball game. Up the middle, he stopped at the line of scrimmage. Big, big league stop by the Big Red Hunt. They haven't broke through our line for a big run yet this game. You know, Taylor, guys are pretty fired up after stopping us on that fourth down. And it takes plays like that to quiet the crowd. You know, they get a little anxious. They hadn't had a big play all game. This Gallatin crowd hasn't, and that play just quieted them down. There you going to it. And that pass was incomplete. Good defense by Joe Underwood and Todd Fowl. Third down and nine. Intercepted by Chris Johnston. Uh, that was a great pass. That was a great pass. The wrong team. And uh, Chris Johnson with the interception takes it back for a few yards. The Big Red's got sniffing the end zone again. Could be 14 to nothing before long, huh? Alex? You know, Tyler, I tried to go to number five one too many times, especially in a row. Chris Johnson read it and picked it off. 
He calls himself the madman. He definitely was on that play. Give it to Johnston on offense. Let's let him take it in for the score hunt. Well, they got first down and 10. Eccles in motion. Pass. D. Thompson sacked. The passing game is not very successful tonight, Hunt. Uh, their defensive line is too tough. I think we better keep it on the ground. Second down and 13 on the 33-yard line. D throws it up for grabs. And incomplete. Uh, I think it was the rookie. No, it was Pat, and uh, he was open. Pass got away from D. I think it's hard to throw into this win, Hunt. But uh, he was open, so we could be looking for that play a little later in the game. D back to pass. He's sacked again. I don't know how many more times uh, D's going to take a beating in the backfield before we decide that we better keep it on the ground. I know it was third and 13, but uh, we've had some big runs this game. Tad Harker wrote on for the punt. Punt. Fourth and a long 22. You look like God, man. You can't be in He is. Pat barely gets it off. It was partially blocked. It takes an NBA roll. Still going. And it's down at about the 25-yard line. Gelatin takes over for a first down. Goes immediately to the air. Number five. And he's tackled by Todd Faust. Second down and one for Gallatin. Running up the middle, he got the first down, it looks like. They're trying to put together a drive, Hanna. Huh? They haven't scored yet, five minutes left in the third. Uh, the crowd's rallying behind them, trying to get them puffed up to make a big drive. They've got a long way to go before they see any points on the board, though. Flags on the play. That'll throw them back about five. I think it's offside, huh? First down and 15 for Gallatin. Reverse. He gets outside of Tate. That tackle is made by number 42, Michael Brooks. Second down and six for Gallatin. Up the middle. Not much. Good play by the Big Red defense. It's going to be third and six. Third down. Gallatin drops back to pass. He's got all day. He tries to run it for the first down. And he may have gotten it. Yeah. Gallatin quarterback hit hard before he could throw it. A lot of pressure on the quarterback. Nice hit. I don't think they'll be wanna. I don't think he'll be run. Want to run that short drop back pass with known bleakers on the other side, Hunt. <laughs> Gallatin was second and ten on the incomplete pass. Handoff up the middle. Yeah. Tackled by a host of big red defenders. Gain of about, we'll say. Four. Pretty good drive going by the Green Wave Hunt. Uh, they're slowly making their way towards the end zone. Uh, comment on the boring field that they have here in Gallatin right now. No numbers, no end zone decorations, no nothing. Al? Makes it real tough on the announcers with no numbers. Another stop route. 35 stop. Didn't look like he was going to get the ball, so he started going again. The quarterback threw it. Not much coherence between the quarterback and the receiver. Brings up fourth down. We're back for the big red to receive the punt. Galvin Punter's been punting pretty well tonight. He's got a good leg. Another nice punt. Mark Peek with the fair catch. A nice call considering he had a bunch of green wave defenders right in his face. Uh, Alex, I try to get over here on the sidelines. Uh, there's the player right there, that young man in the letterman jacket right there. 
Supposedly is the injured quarterback for, uh, for Gallatin. He's been out all season. Supposedly a great player, according to these fans, and probably playing a big league college football next year, Al. Yeah, I say he's got, they, they already paid his BMW payments uh, up at UT now. D calling signals for the wishbone. Man in motion. Hand off up the middle to Robert Eccles. Uh, the ref threw a flag, but it was a late call. Robert Eccles can move and go in motion. Um, and he threw the flag. I'm not sure what's going on here. That'll make it first and 15. They did call that illegal motion. Hand off to Chris. He pulled forward for about four, close to the original line of scrimmage. Second and 12 for the Big Red. Hand off to Glenn Harris. You see the hole in the middle. Gain of about, yeah, and that'll bring up about third and, we'll say seven. Alex, look for Coach Owen to play a little conservative. They hadn't had a complete pass all night. According to my main man Gilbert, the fan over here, he tells me that the Green Wave is used to a team turning the ball over against them at least once or twice. The Big Red is, has yet to do that. We've come close with some, some scary fumbles, but we, we haven't turned the ball over yet. Hot. It's third down and eight for NBA. Mix up in the backfield. D went the wrong way. And that brings up fourth down, and here comes the punt unit. One. Good punt by Pat Lowe. And he's brought down at about the 50-yard line. Galton takes over. Looks like they're inside NBA's territory. And number 22 try breaks outside, and he does for a gain of about six. Hunt, they got better field position this time. Uh, if they drive like they did last time, they might score. Uh, we'll see if the Big Red can't come up with a big defensive stand here on this drive. Well, that's the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, with your score, NBA 7, Gallatin nothing. Second down and five for Gallatin. They go to the air, and he's sacked by Robert Eccles. Great combined play, Robert Eccles and Aiden Law. That play stopped that quarterback dead in his tracks. He just fell to the ground, had nowhere to go with it, Al. Yeah, Robert came on the stunt there, started over on the left side, came to the middle for the blitz. There was nobody to pick him up. He had a straight line to the quarterback. That brings up third and 10 for the Green Wave. Mc McCarty is out wide. No they're looking for number five. Bleaker brings him down. Yeah. What a play by Brian Bleaker. A loss of about 10 at least, Hunt. They're way back. There's no chance of a drive on this round. You know, I was talking to Brian Bleaker today uh, on the patio, and he was saying, I think there's going to be a lot of finger pointing tonight. He was anticipating a big game, and so far he's having one. Pat? Well, you know, Alex, last week I was kind of weak with uh, my vows, but that sack deserves one. So, uh, a sack for Bleak, he did seek, and he came up with it, Alex. And uh, let's look for the Big Red to just control this ball game and uh, milk that clock and win it. NBA takes over at their 25-yard line. First down and 10 with 10.29 to go in this ball game. And you saw the tail end of that play. There wasn't much gain. It's going to be second down and 10. Is it on? Is it on? Hunt, I just went to uh, the concession stands. I was sort of hungry. Good thing I was wearing these boots because, you know, I was wading up to my boots in, in some sort of liquid. One might have thought it was just been the water from the rains we had earlier today, but it was, in fact, uh, some puddles of tobacco juice. It's kind of thick, but uh, I think we're <laughs> there with that problem now. And uh, after the uh, game, I think the Green Wave is hoping to have a bonfire if they come out victorious like we did Thursday night. And uh, traditions here up in the stands. And uh, back to you, Alex. Okay, we got a third and 12 for the Big Red. 
Bad situation for the Big Red, an option team. Forced into a third and long. D with the D with the keeper around the outside. Not much there. May have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. That brings out Pat Harker. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Johnny. Johnny. Punt return. For Gals, and it's a boot. Look at that boot. Oh man. Look at that boot all the way. Almost the whole length of the field is down there on the one inch line. The fans are wrong. They're so mad here at Gallatin. They're keeping their chin up because they've got to go about 99.9 yards to score a touchdown. Only nine minutes left in this ball game. They're upset. That was the best punt probably in the state today. Better than any in pro football, college football, wherever hunted. Just had get any better than Pat Hawker Road. I claim the fame here. Our claim to fame is our 11-0 record, and we're about to be 12-0. It's time for the defense to pull up a big play, and Gallatin runs a quarterback sneak. Because of the uh, many Gallatin fans standing up, cussing that, that punt call, uh, the camera's going to be a little tilted for a while. We'll see if we can't get, cover all the action for you. Though. Second down and eight. And on the backfield, he tripped up at the one-yard line, lost the one. Uh, from the looks of this, in order to them to punt from where they are right now, he may have to step out behind those trees right there to get one off. I'm not sure, uh, Pat. Amaze, I know one thing. That, that punt that they're about to do right now can't uh, match Hawker Road's punt. You're going to have to Pony Express me, call me, fax me, mom me, uh, whatever you want, because that was a pretty far punt. It, I mean, it's like different area codes here. Pat kicked that one from the other county. I think he kicked that, from, that one from Y-High Hunt. I'm not sure. <laughs> Up the middle again. He's stuck. That's fourth down and nine. Here comes a punt unit. NBA's got a great chance for a block on this punt. You know how we got people cussing up here. I think they're getting a little worried now. They've been kidding with us all game, but now I'm seeing some anxiety in their eyes, a little bit of anger, a little bit of anti-mama's boys blood in them, hunt is coming out. There may be some punches thrown before we get out of here. They're, they're, they're definitely getting hostile here. the play. They're going to move him back. Move him back half hey, the what are you going to give him? Touchdown? Come on. Shad Weaver was jostling there inside, trying to make him jump, and they did. That's going to move him back half the distance. Put him back. I don't know how close you can get to that goal line. Put him back to about the one, I think. Well, Waddy, I don't know either, but uh, got a little quote from the wild man last night. Here it is straight from Shadow Weaver. Look for our special teams to thwart their crowd advantage and to make the big plays that will shift the momentum of the game. Meanwhile, good snap and a good kick. NBA set up a return, and Fuqua dodges a tackler, and he's on about the 30-yard line, 35. Great field position for the Big Red. If we score, if we score some on this drive, the game may be over. Uh, uh, my friend Gilbert seems to have uh, envisioned some feces on the field, uh, referring to how hard Mark Fuqua was hit. Uh, I'm not so sure that... Uh, I think... Uh, Brandon Hewitt's out there with his pooper scooper. <laughs> he got to get that off. We'll see if we can't get that off of me. <laughs> NBA takes over in great field position. Option. D keeps it. And he slides down after gaining about five. Yeah, right. Big red. D. Thompson hand off to Vallejos. He gains about one and a half. It's going to be third down and short for NBA. Uh -huh. That's a run. It's going to be close to first down. 
About half a yard short, I think. They're going to bring in Pat Hargrove for a kick. Hunt, we're temporarily off the uh, tripod. I'm trying to see if I can't get above some of these standing Galveston members so uh, to avoid some of the tilt that's been going on. Pat's coming off for a big field goal here. Uh, could give us a 10 nothing lead, which might mean ball game. Hey, hey, Gilbert. Gilbert. Money in the bank, baby. Money in the bank. 38. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Oh, man, look at that. She's on the damn spot right there. That's a five-yard drop. Woo! They're this back. No! It's blocked. First field goal he's had swatted like that hunt. Uh, we're still up seven nothing. Down in ten for Gelatin. Quarterback drops straight back over the middle of 35. He caught it. And he's still going. Brought down by Todd Faust. A pass over the middle. Caught and couple of slip defensive backs, and that's, that equals a big game for Jack Gallatin. I've been hearing all game from a main man, Gilbert, here, that uh, that uh, that big play written all over the Green Wave Ball Club. Uh, we saw some of it there. They hadn't found the end zone yet. We'll see if they can. I'm doubting it. I'm calling a turnover here or something. Green Wave, hot. First and 10. There's 3.45 to go in this one. Intercepted by Todd Faust and Chris Johnston. I think it was Chris Johnston. Good coverage by whoever that was. Did a great job of knocking that ball away from the receiver, Hunt. I think the big red defense has got to be tested here, see what they're made of. We're made of steel. We know that. We've seen it all season. We're going to show it here tonight. 7 nothing, big red. Final score, 14-0. Well, Taylor, there's only three things you can count on in this world. That's death, taxes, and the NBA defense. Up the middle. Found a hole. That's not going to be enough for first down. It's going to be third down in about five. We're having some technical difficulties up here with all these obnoxious Galaxian fans getting in my way, and I'm I'm really not liking it. I'm trying to bring you all the game, and WNBA is doing their best, so we'll see if we can't avoid any other confrontation. Well, Taylor, you know, they don't they don't they didn't reserve our spot up there in the press box. We're out, we're out here with all the fans. You know, we kind of like that in some ways, but in other ways. It kind of likes the hospitality we've seen from other places. Man in motion, look for run right. And he's sacked in the backfield by Brian Blinker. Another one. He's pretty fired up after that one. Alex, what do you say? That was a great play, and I just have to reiterate what Brian said today. He was going to have a great game, and he's showing it tonight. We're definitely suffering up here. I don't know if y'all got that great sack or not. I think you probably got the tail end of it, but uh, these, these two people are upset up here hunting. They're getting in my way. Fourth down and seven with 2.35 to go in this ball game. This is the play of the game right here, ladies and gentlemen. And number 14 drops back to pass over the middle. And it's incomplete. NBA takes over, first down and 10. Humongous stop by the Big Red D. They played well for us all year. Uh, it's seven to nothing, two and a half minutes left in the ball game. Somebody else? Yeah! We got, we got some, some yells of, of, I guess we'll say it, bullshit, but I don't see how you can say that with, with just a good hard play. No contact there. Good all all around play. <laughs> it seems that the Gallatin student section seems to be yelling something with the initials of BS. I believe they're addressing the Gallatin coach on that last call, fourth and seven. As we hand off up the middle, we're going to grind that clock out. Pat Hale. Well, you know, Mays, I got some BS, and I know where they can show some BS. That was just a good outstanding play by NBA, and they're going to take this game, and they're going to win it. And Alex, what else do you have to say? <laughs> And, and, and. Dot, dot, dot. Ego. Hand off up the middle to someone. All the big reds trying to do right now is hold on to the wall. Make sure there are no fumbles. Wind the clock down. Galden calls timeout. It's third down and four. In a few years, you'll be here now. It'll be like number 14. 
option. D keeps it, slides down in the backfield. And quickly, Galton calls a timeout with 1.46 to go in the ball game. NBA is going to have to punt, it looks like. Yeah, you know, it's a big snap here. See if we can't get off. If they block it, it could mean tie game. We'll see. Here it goes. Good, good kick. Good kick. Brings 11 all the way back, and he bobbles it. He still bobbles it. And he's brought down. He's brought down. You know what? I'm weaving in and out people's heads with this camera. It's really difficult to do. I got most of that play. It might be a little blurry, but number 11 came darn close to going down and then ran it back the other way. And Coach Harry. Coach Harry. Coach Harry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. That dumb it. You know what, maybe it's just me, but I'm a little confused about the passing by co-chairing through his Gallatin section. All right, we got a pass out of the out wide, covered by David Mason, incomplete second down and 10 with a minute 17 to go. Pat, I'll see if I can help you out on that last question of yours. Uh, Dan, I think he heard staying alive playing over there on the other side. He was flocking to it. It's just kind of a natural instinct. It's kind of like a magnet effect. What do you think? <laughs> Well, you know, Taylor, I think that's absolutely right. There's not much uh, response I have to that, so I'm going to give it to you, Hunt. And I'm going to give it to Waddy. All right, the, the Big Red is in wide coverage. No one anything to get behind them right here with a minute 17 left. And there's a stop and go where it almost got behind them. Uh, David Mason over on that right side has to be careful that stop and go. That's what they're going to be trying. You know, these uh, diehard Galton vans seem to be pouring out of our stand pretty quickly. Uh, we've got a, Gilbert still up here. He's definitely diehard, but some of the other ones, as you can see, are just flocking away. Uh, they don't wait it out to the bitter end. Hunt is getting kind of thin here. The Big Red pretty much conquered the home of the Green Wave. Well, you know, Mays, that's, fu uh, Waddy, that's funny you mentioned the stop and go because usually they shut down the whole Gallatin town for these games, but I think one stop and go market was open night coming on in. They gave us some gas. They gave us some groceries back to you, Hunt. What that has to do with the game, I don't know, but it's fourth down and ten with a minute seven to go in this ball game. Big, <coughs> big play right here. You know, Hunt, the last couple of minutes with all these people standing up, I, I have to confess, it's been a pretty budget taping job. Uh, I've been I've been tilted. I've been hopping up and down. Uh, I apologize for that. I think we got most of the good football going on here, though. Well, Taylor, that's no problem. Not only are you the best color man in the league, but you're the best cameraman, too. Thanks, Back to pass. Over the middle. Didn't get it. NBA takes over. Chin up, green wave, hang ten, whatever you want to call it, but the big red roll tonight, Hunt. I got a feeling yeah, NBA is going to win it Because we are the champions, my friend. Dun, 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 dun. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Dun, 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 dun. Cause we are the Alright, enough of that, Pat. I'm about to get on my main man Gilbert. There's Gilbert. I got him. Hey, hey shake your hand. Shake hands with me. I'm a good sport. The reputation we heard about these Gallatin fans, uh, one part of it was true. They are not hard. They do flock to the stadium. I respect that. Uh, the other part about them being rednecks is not proved true on our side tonight. Gilbert's a class act. He's got some serious insight into football. He's got a youngster along the way. He's going to be a star quarterback for the Green Wave. He's going to be riding the wave. Come time he's in high school, and Gilbert's a great guy. We're up on him. He may join us in the booth next week at NBA for our uh, victory over Germantown or whoever it is we play. Why? You know, Taylor, this is a great game tonight. We have to thank all the Galden fans for the uh, for the uh, pleasantness around us. Uh, they were all real nice to us. Over, uh, we tried to get out in the press box. They were real nice. They tried to find some room for us. We found some room right here. Kenneth, Kenneth and all his buddies were, were just great to us. Great fans out here at Gallatin. We just have to compliment them on that. Wait. First, I'd like, to, I'd like to congratulate all the NBA fans, players, on a, a great ball game. Coming into our backyard and winning 7 to nothing 
Hey, you guys should be state champions. If you're anything less, right, yeah. well, you got to hear from us again next year. Well, well, Kenneth, that shows the class act that you and Gallatin both are. But as I recall, the halftime show, correct me if I'm wrong, Audie, Kenneth, you, you said here, meet me at the end of the ball game, get me on tape. I mean, we got you on tape. The score is still 7 nothing. Now, does that mean anything to you? That means that you should be state champions. Anything less means that you are underachievers. Hey, Gilbert, you got to ride home, buddy? I, I drove. <laughs> oh, Gilbert. Gilbert, we got to get a sober ride for you, buddy. <laughs> be careful. That's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> A big red victory of the game wave seven us and there you have it. They're flocking the field. There's Hunt Conley, uh, the best play-by-play -play man in the nation. I think we're going out on the field. I'm not sure. There's Al. And, and where's it? Well, finish it. Pat. There's Pat. Microphone. Let's go, Hunt. I got a feeling NBA's going to the clinic ball. But I'm but I got a feeling. NBA's going to the clinic bowl. Right, move it. I gotta get on the field at. Yeah! Look at that great support. Look at all the fans pouring on the field. Great support by the Big Red students and everybody. There's nothing like coming into Green Wave country and just conquering the terrain. Of, you know, Gilbert's leaving. I see it, Gilbert. Uh, Pat, we came in here. We were confident. We were focused. The Big Red was not intimidated by the Gallatin fans and or the Gallatin players. All, all, there, there they are, Joe Underwood's aunt. They're all pumped. They're excited. We're two steps up on that five-step road to the clinic bowl. We're, we're three games away. All right. There's, 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 uh, yeah. There's some red men. No, the green way. All right, well. <laughs> well, Pat, for a few words. Well, you know, Maze, that's funny that you mentioned Joe Underwood's aunt over there, because that's no ordinary aunt. That's no ordinary uncle. He's no ordinary ball player. This is no ordinary town, no ordinary game tonight, no ordinary playoffs, because NBA is rolling. We're in the grade eight, and we're going to the clinic ball, Maze. Roll Thus far this year, WNBA has brought you these 12 ball games. They've all been victories. I have to think that it has something to do with us and the spirit that you see there with Alex Waddy. I really don't, I'm in such a good mood, Pat. I don't want to get off the air, but it's, it's closing time. Alex Waddy with a few closing words. 